Hello, welcome to Erwin Singh Academy. We are discussing a straight line and this is the lecture number 9. I hope you have already watched part 1 to part 8 before watching this part 9. In this lecture, I am going to discuss about uh, length of perpendicular from point to the line. So the topic is length of perpendicular length of perpendicular from a point to a line. This is what the topic I am going to discuss right now. And this topic is, of course, there is a line given and you have to find the length of perpendicular from point to the line. So here is a line, say this is a line and uh, this is a perpendicular length from point to the line that you have to calculate here. See there is the point and that point is given here P as x1 y1 right P is a point and this is a line line is given and equation of line is given like ax plus by plus c is equal to g right and this is the length of perpendicular so say this point is m right we have to find the distance of pm so length of perpendicular perpendicular from point from point P to the line to the line AX plus BY plus C and the coordinate of point is X1 Y1 is equal to 0 is given by AX1 plus BY1 plus C divided by under root A square plus B square. This is what the formula. Right? You can find out this formula by solving the equations and find the coordinate of m and then you will be able to find it length of perpendicular from point p to the line this right <clears throat> so we can deal with this equation by using this equation of line remember two things that equation of line you can have because slope of this line can be determined and if you find the slope of the line, then any line perpendicular to its slope of that line can be also determined. And slope of line is determined, so we can find the equation of the line PM because it passes through x1, y1. If you get the equation of line PM and equation of this line is given, if you solve them simultaneously, then point of intersection that is M can be calculated. And if you calculate M, then you can find the distance between PM by using distance formula. And if you do all these things, uh, when you want to do this, there is no proof is not required at all here. So whenever there is a sleepless line, you can do this, right? So your own, I have given you the concept, you can deal with them, right? So whenever there is a sleepless line, or if you want to do it, you can do it your own. I am not going to do it right now. This is the formula you need to remember. So, in place of x1, y1, if there is a 0, 0, suppose the point length of perpendicular from origin to the line, this then what will happen? So, in place of x1, y1, you will put 0, 0. So, this will be 0, this will be 0, and c divided by under root a square plus b square. And this is what we learned in previous class. So, therefore, length of perpendicular, therefore, length of perpendicular length of perpendicular from origin to the line origin 0 0 to the line x plus by plus c is equal to 0 is given by is given by what c upon under root a square plus b square and this is what we have proved earlier and uh, given by c upon under root a square plus b square you can remember this now there is a concept that uh, 
the length of perpendicular from origin to the line can be determined but what will be when two lines are parallel then we can calculate by using this formula the distance between two parallel lines so here let me write this the distance between two parallel lines between two parallel lines two parallel lines right distance between two parallel lines if ax plus by plus c1 is equal to 0 and ax plus by plus c2 is equal to 0 be two parallel lines where because their slope are same two parallel lines then the distance between them is distance between them is given by is given by is equal to c1 minus c2 upon under root a square plus b square length of perpendicular from origin to the line can be determined and p1 minus p2 is this that is basically length of perpendicular from origin to the line lines right now two lines and then i have subtracted the distance between them so here what i did here that is p2 minus p1 minus p2 i did here p1 minus p2 and p1 minus p2 is equal to the distance between them and that is what c1 minus c2 upon under root a square plus b square so here length of perpendicular from p1 is length of perpendicular from o to m and this is o to n and p2 is o to n so om is given by om is p1 and that is c upon under root a square plus b square and on is equal to p2 and what is that c1 c1 upon this is c1 upon and this is c2 upon under root a square plus b square so if i will subtract because this line is ax plus by plus c1 is equal to 0 and this line is nothing else but ax plus by plus c2 is equal to 0 so p1 and p2 are length of perpendicular now distance between m and h m and h nothing else but om minus on and that can be written as c1 upon under root a square plus b square minus c2 upon under root a square plus b square and therefore i can write c1 minus c2 upon under root a square plus b square i hope you got it and distance is only negative uh, positive so we will write it in no plus now you may think that uh, because these two lines are on the same side of origin what will happen when they are opposite side of origin so two lines are opposite side of origin if uh, they will be same side of the origin if coefficient of constant term has same sign either both of them are positive or both of them are negative then they have same sign otherwise they can have opposite sign right so here we can write this one more point that we would like to write here two parallel lines parallel lines ax plus by plus c1 is equal to 0 and ax plus by plus c2 is equal to 0 two parallel lines are this and this okay so if case first when c1 and c2 are of same sign are of same sign that is c1 c2 is greater than 0 then both the lines both the lines lie same side of origin both the lines lie same side of origin same side of origin right and case 2 case 2 is there when c1 and c2 are of opposite sign opposite sign then that is c1 c2 is less than 0 that is 
c1 c2 is less than 0 that is c1 c2 is less than 0 product of positive and negative will be less than 0 in that case then both the parallel lines both the lines lie opposite side lines lie opposite side of the origin both the lines lie opposite side of the origin opposite side of the origin of the origin right so this is what but in both the cases the formula will be same i hope you got it because if c1 and c2 will be opposite sign then c1 minus c2 will be c2 is negative so it's negative negative positive then its length will be added p1 plus p2 will be there in that case length will be p1 plus p2 but here it will be same formula will be same so don't worry worry about that got it okay now some other question uh, we'll, I'm going to discuss from the exercise 10.3. So, because what we have learned, let us solve some questions from the exercise exercise 10.3 and let us deal with the questions which uh, we have learned the concept. Now, so question is question number four. First three questions had been discussed earlier and now question number four is there. And fourth question is given that find the distance of point. Find the distance of point. Distance of point minus one one from the line. From the line twelve x plus six is equal to five y minus two. This is the question. Now, for solution, we can write it. The given equation is the given equation is what? 12x, 12x plus 72 is equal to 5y minus 10. So that can be written as 12x minus 5y plus 82 is equal to 0. I hope you got it. Now the length of perpendicular, therefore, length of perpendicular, perpendicular from x1, y1 to the line, to the line, x1, y1 to the line, ax plus by plus c is equal to 0 each modulus of ax1 plus by1 plus c upon under root a square plus b square using this formula and therefore length of perpendicular from what the point was given point was given minus 1 1 minus 1 1 to the line in the line 12x minus 5y plus 82 is equal to 0 is what will be that a is equal to 12 into you have to put this in place of x coordinate and in place of y y coordinate so in place of x we will put minus 1 in place of y we will put y coordinate that is minus 5 into 1 plus 82 divided by under root a square plus b square a is 12 so 12 square plus b is minus 5 square and that all will be in modulus so this will be minus 12 minus 5 plus 82 divided by 13 isn't it that is 65 <coughs> divided by 13 is 5 unit and that will be answer so i hope you can do this now let us solve some question number 5 and 5 is find the point on x axis. Find the point on x axis. Point on x axis. Whose distance. Whose distance is. From the line. 
from the line x by 3 plus y by 4 is equal to 1 are 4 units. Find the points. There may be one that more than one points and that is why distance is given. So you can calculate this. How to calculate this? Try to understand. So solution can be written as here. What will be the solution? Let us write the solution. And solution is since the line is given as x plus 3 plus y by 4 is equal to 1, so that can be written as 4x plus 3y is equal to 12 or 4x plus 3y minus 12 is equal to 0 is the line, right now, the line. And let a point on x axis has y coordinate 0, isn't it? So let alpha 0 be any point on x axis point on x-axis and since the length of perpendicular from alpha 0 to the line 1 is 4 unit since length of perpendicular perpendicular from alpha 0 to the line 1 is 4 is 4 unit and therefore, we can write 4 into alpha plus 3 into 0 minus 12 upon under root 4 square plus 3 square, right now, is equal to 4 unit. So, we can write here 4 alpha, this employee, 4 alpha minus 12 upon 5. And if you reduce modulus, that will be plus minus 4. So therefore, 4 alpha minus 12 is equal to plus minus 20. This is 4 square plus 3 square 16 plus 9 25 and a square root of 25 is 5. So everybody know this. And therefore, 4 alpha must be equal to 12 plus minus 20. And therefore, 4 alpha either is 32 or minus 8. Therefore, alpha is either 8 or minus 2. Hence, points are alpha 0 that is 8 0 or minus 2. Hence, points are either 8 comma 0 or minus 2 comma 0. That will be the answer of this question. I hope you got it. Okay. So, these are the two points. So, that is question number 5. Now, moving to question number 6. Find the distances between parallel lines. Find the distance H. Distance between parallel lines. Distance between parallel lines. Parallel lines. Right? Find the distance between parallel lines. Only one distance. And therefore, first one, first equation is given here. First pair of lines are given. 15x plus 8y minus 34 is equal to 0 and 15x minus 8 plus 8y plus 31 is equal to 0, right? So these are two parallel lines because coefficient of x and y are same. So we can find so the distance between parallel lines. We know, we know the distance between parallel lines, distance between parallel lines, between parallel lines, parallel lines a1 ax plus by plus c1 is equal to 0 and ax plus by plus c2 is equal to 0 is c1 minus c2 upon under root a square plus b square. You can write it. This is what? So therefore, the required distance will be here c1 c2 is this and therefore required distance will be required distance is given by is given by what is c1 here c1 is minus 34 and c2 is minus 31 it can be written as c2 minus c1 there is no problem right now because it is already and divided by a square that is 15 square plus 8 square 
what is that? This is 35 plus 31 is 65. Minus 65 will be plus 65 because out of modulus. And 15 square plus 8 square is what? 17. Right now, 15 square is 225 plus 64 is 289, so it is 17. So 65 by 17 answer. This will be answer. Now let us discuss second part of the question. And second part of the question is given here that uh, lines are here. It is x plus y plus p is equal to 0. It is L times of x plus y plus p is equal to 0. And L times of x plus y minus r is equal to 0 minus r is equal to 0 minus r is equal to 0 so again using the same formula we can find the distance between two parallel lines there because coefficient of x and y are same so lines are parallel because slope is only determined by coefficient of x and y isn't it so here the distance between two parallel lines distance between lines lx plus ly plus p is equal to 0 and lx plus ly minus r is equal to 0 is given by is equal to what c1 minus c2 minus minus r divided by under root a square plus b square that is l square plus l square this is what so p plus r upon under root 2L, this will be the value and that will be the answer. Depending upon this, this will be answer. Distance between two parallel lines are like this. Now let us solve some question number 7 and what is that? This is the 7th question and 7th question is given here. Find the equation of line parallel to, find the equation of line of line parallel to the line parallel to the line parallel to the line x 3x minus 4y plus 2 is equal to 0 and passing through and passing through through minus 2 3 right so here the solution can be written as Slope of the line is slope of the line 3x minus 4y plus 2 is equal to 0 is m that is minus coefficient of x upon coefficient of y. You have learned this that is 3 by 4. Any line parallel to this has same slope. So therefore any line parallel to parallel to 3x minus 4y plus 2 is equal to 0 has some has slope has same slope has slope 3 by 4 and therefore since slope is 3 by 4 and passing through and passing through passing through minus 2 3 then equation is given by one point form because you know the slope and you know one point so equation of line is given by one point form line is what y minus y1 is equal to m into x minus x1 this is the what so y minus y1 is 3 m is 3 by 4 x minus x1 minus of minus 2 that is x plus 2 so that will be 4 times of y minus 12 for we multiply this side 3x plus 6 so that will be therefore 3x minus 4y and this 12 will come this side it will be plus 12 so plus 18 is equal to 0 which is the line, equation of line which is equation of line equation of line I hope you got it. Okay. Now, uh, similarly, some other questions can be also solved. 
like question number eight find the equation of line find the equation of line of line perpendicular to the line perpendicular to the line to the line x minus 7y plus 5 is equal to 0 and having and having x intercept x intercept 3 x intercept 3 so how to deal with the solution so solution here line is slope of line slope of line x minus 7y plus 5 is equal to 0 is m1 that is minus coefficient of x upon coefficient of y that is 1 by 7. Let slope of line perpendicular to it is let m2 be the slope of line slope of line perpendicular to it perpendicular to it then m1 m2 is equal to minus 1 that will be m2 is equal to if i put value of m1 is 1 by 7 then this will be m2 is minus 7 and hence equation of line pass x intercept 3 means it will be line will intersect x axis at 3 so 3 comma 0 is a point and therefore equation of line will be equation of line is y minus y1 that is 0 and slope that is 7 x minus 3 x minus 21 and that will be the answer of this question so uh, how to deal with the question and how the solution of questions when there is a system of parallel lines or perpendicular lines you have to remember two things that m1 m2 is equal to minus 1 in case of perpendicular lines and for parallel lines m1 is equal to m2 that is slopes are equal so this is uh, what we have to discuss before the break after the break we will discuss some more questions till then bye bye god bless keep watching right thank you